Hi folks, Mark here, Views from Mark. As always, I hope wherever you are in the world that you're keeping safe, healthy, and are well. In today's video, I'm unboxing something that really is very special indeed, something that has been well over a year in the making, and yeah, I'm really pleased to finally have this to present to you guys and do an unboxing. So right off the bat, before we carry on with this, if you haven't already checked out my first video in this kind of two-part uh, special edition series, I'll put a link up in the top here, but I thoroughly recommend you go and check that out. It's basically where I go to Globetrotters flagship store in the Burlington Arcade in central London, and I speak with some of the team there who are all fantastic, warm and friendly, and talk with them about their brand, the history, the bond connection, and just generally get to know them and the brand and the store better. But it's a great tour, they really pulled out all the stops and I think, yeah, it's well worth checking out if you want to see that. I thoroughly recommend checking that video out as well. So today, as I say, I'm unboxing something from Globetrotter that's really rather special. To cut a very, very long story short, I first started talking to the wonderful guys over at Globetrotter about this item when No Time To Die originally came out at the cinemas. There was some back and forth between us and it wasn't until summer that we kind of got things together and I was able to speak with them and they put something together on order for me which is in this box here. So let's just dive straight in and do an unboxing. Now I know that there is one item just down the side here if I reach in because I saw them put this in as a as a, a little extra. It is a small kind of presentation box as you can see it's wrapped in plastic so we will take this off put that to one side so straight off the bat you can see this is a lovely deep dark blue presentation box it's got in silver on the front here the Globetrotter logo established in 1897 they're over 125 years old as a company now which is, is quite incredible. So I think I know what this is, but I'm gonna open it up anyway for you guys. Do an unboxing. Okay, so we've got some tissue paper inside. We'll open this up. And this might actually give you a clue as to what's inside this much larger package. There we go, wow. I can tell you, I get a whiff of leather straight away. And this is lovely, this is the No Time To Die leather luggage tag from Globetrotter. They sell this on their website. It's black leather. Yeah, it's got that leather smell, so it's real, it's real leather. Black leather with this lovely silver kind of embossed uh, No Time To Die 007 logo on the front. And on the back, we have the Bond family coat of arms with 007 underneath. Globetrotter, England, 1897. Now that is really rather lovely. So obviously you would take this off of your piece of luggage and then open up and there is inside a piece of paper card where you put your name, address, contact information. So should your case ever go on a little adventure on its own, at least your contact information would be on there. Obviously that is the point of a luggage tag, but that is rather lovely. And um, I'm very grateful to Globetrotter for uh, hooking me up with one of these lovely black leather, no time to die luggage tags. That's really rather nice. The people, the, the folks over at uh, Globetrotter are so friendly and so helpful. Um, any questions you have, you know, they answer and they get straight back to you, whether that's in email or if you go into the store, it's really worth paying them a visit if you're in central London. It's a lovely store that they've got. Yeah, so that's really rather lovely. I shall put this to one side because as you can see, space is going to be a premium for doing this, this unboxing as this is quite a large bag and box. Now, <laughs> picking this up in central London was great. Obviously going to the store itself speaking with the wonderful folks there and then being presented with this rather large, let's face it, uh, bag containing the box inside. This had come from their factory. Everything is handmade in England, bespoke, custom made, every order it could be different. 
And that's one of the great things about Globetrotter is that it is still handmade by craftsmen in the UK. Um, and I opted to have this delivered to the store so that I could go to the store and pick it up in person and have that, you know, that customer service experience. So without further ado, what I will do is undo the little ribbon, yellow ribbon on the top here, which is holding together the straps of the bag, which is lovely. And then you can see there is another bow inside here that surrounds the top of the box. And we'll just undo that, which is uh, for the box. And then this is going to be a tricky part. So forgive me if this looks a bit cumbersome. Um, not quite sure how to do this. And you might actually be able to guess from the size of this box what, what case I've actually gone for. So, turn this to one side. We have a trusty knife, and I'm gonna be very careful when opening this, um, when preparing to open this anyway, because I'm not entirely sure how it's all done. Obviously, you don't want to damage anything inside, not that I think it, it would, because I think these items are so well protected and shipped that you wouldn't really run a risk of damaging anything. The packaging is really quite good. So I am gonna be careful though, nonetheless. So the point of me doing this as always is to kind of show you guys what you could expect if you have this ordering experience and you have something delivered, this is how it would arrive. Obviously in a very well protected box. Now. If you want to guess what's inside here, feel free. We'll turn this sideways, give you guys a view as we open up. And what's this? A box within a box. Oh, okay. There's also another smaller box here. What we'll do is I will move over into the middle again now. And let's, let's, have a look, I wasn't expecting this, as you can tell. So there is another luggage tag box by the look of it, and it says black nickel on the front. That's what it says on the front. Um, so yeah, we'll open this up and see, see what's in here. No idea what to expect from this, but let's have a look. Again, we open up the same luggage box that the No Time to Die came in, and then within, we have, ah, that's rather nice as well. So basically this looks to be, yep, it's the same lovely leather. Um, we have another black, this is a plain black luggage tag. What I will do is I will get the No Time to Die. So these basically look identical in essence. The design, uh, the patterning, the stitching is all identical. Um, the, the difference being obviously having the 007 on the back and the coat of arms and on the front we have the embossed no time to die logo but in terms of the difference the only difference is it doesn't have any of the silver embossing or logos it just has a globetrotter embossed logo on the back it is a plain black luggage tag and that's rather nice so i do know i think when you generally if you put an order in with Globetrotter, you will you will get uh, you should get I think a luggage tag coming with your case. So that's rather nice. So yeah, that's lovely. Thank you very much for the second tag, because obviously with with the No Time to Die, you could have I suppose the silver rubbing off, and if you want to keep that pristine, you might use the plain one. Um, but either way, both of them very nice luggage tags, very good quality leather stitching is superb, and everything else. So see how best to get this one out of the case. We shall slide this out. So you can probably tell by now I have gone for a carry-on sized case. Globetrotter are famous for doing large check-in sized cases, carry-on sized cases, attache cases like briefcases, as well as general storage boxes for your home, or if you've got a collection of watches that you want to keep in a nice Globetrotter case, they also do those kind of collections as well. 
for me personally, with traveling, I, if I was flying through an airport, obviously, I wouldn't necessarily want to have a large check-in sized case that I would check in. I want a case that I can keep with me at all times, and I know that their carry-on cases are generally accepted by most of the world's airlines, so you never have to let this leave your side. So that was a big factor for going for something that is this size, for me anyway, that's my personal choice. I wouldn't want to have one of the larger cases, which could then be damaged in transportation when it's out of my hands and it's out of my control. You know, you don't know, unless you have your own private jet and your own staff for loading your luggage, then maybe, go. you know, I would get one of the larger check-in sizes, but here we go. Anyway, moving on. So it comes, this case comes in um, this brown shipping paper as well. And what I will do, again, being very careful not to put the, the knife uh, that I'm opening this with fully through the paper. I am trying to be as careful as I can be. Um, and I think I've just about done that, so there we go. Okay, so let's have a look, see what we have inside. May I present, oh wow, first thing, the smell. You can smell the leather straight away, right off the get-go. I shall remove this paper. So here we have it. You can see quite clearly now I have gone for the carry-on case that was the No Time To Die collection, part of their Bond collection that Globetrotter do. Straight away, you can smell the leather, the leather detailing that we have here with the straps, the corner pieces, the handles. Um, everything is still protected. It's got protective foam around the wheels on the bottom here, as you can see. Um, there is, each wheel is protected, which is great. That's how it should be shipped. You've got protection on the handles. What I'll do is I will go through and remove all this bubble wrap, and then we'll have an unfiltered view of this lovely case. So here we have it. This is the Globetrotter from No Time To Die, the carry-on sized without any of the protective bubble wrap on the wheels or the handles or anything else like that. And you can kind of get a, a view of this case in all its glory. I'll stand this up here and you can, you can kind of see size-wise and everything else. I mean, the color, this ocean green is really nice, very subtle coloring to it. And I think, you know, it's going to look fantastic as you're traveling through, you know, a train station or if you're checking into a hotel and you have a piece of luggage that is of this quality with you. I love the color. I love the leather detailing. You've got obviously the corner protectors, which are leather. You have the leather straps that go around in two positions here. The wheels, the actual little caster wheels, they're actually rubberized. So they're not just solid casters. They are actually rubberized wheels. So I don't know if these are, have ball bearings in, but they they feel very nice. And even just, I know it's not traveling, but even just, you know, maneuvering it here on the, on the table, uh, it glides with ease. So that is lovely as well. It's a really nice size. I'm really pleased with it. The color is lovely and the black contrast against the ocean green, I feel works really well. This is production number. On the side here, there is a small plaque that denotes that it is a special edition. These aren't limited editions, but these are only gonna be produced for a limited time period. So it's however many cases Globetrotter make and sell during that time period, that's how many there will be. There will come a point when there is a cutoff and they'll stop offering this case. But for now, this is number 902 of the production run. If we look at the front of the case here, or I say the front, I mean, you could say this is actually the side, but we look at the side of the case here, you've obviously got coming across all the way around, you have the leather straps, some very nice detailing, all these kind of rivets 
and the stitching are perfect, you know, millimeter perfect. Straps come along, you've got two buckles here and then two locks, silver locks. And around on the top, you will see we have two handles. So we have a normal kind of top carrying handle and then we have the telescopic handle just next to that. I say telescopic because this comes out, it kind of pops up. You push the button on the top, pops up. You've then got, you've got the first position for if you're wheeling the case and then the second position which goes up to, I believe a height of about a meter. So from the bottom to the top, once you've got this extended, it will be about a meter's height, which is, you know, a nice comfortable height if you're walking along and you've got the case or you can even pull it behind you. Uh, because of the four casters on the bottom, you can have this tilted and pulling with you like that, as though it were a two-wheeled case. Let's move on to the buckles and the locks. So we have two leather straps, each with its own buckle. What I will do is I will undo these, that's one strap. Really nice finish and detailing on, on the chrome work here. Works really well with the black leather. Open up the second one. So, really nice. And then you've got these two locks, one on each side. I'm not sure if which way they, I think they go down. There we go, that pops up. Push down, that pops up. And now, to have a first look inside this case, we open up, there we go, wow, okay. So, as you can see here, there is a small envelope here. It's got Globetrotter on the front. I'm not sure what this is, but let's have a look. So we have a card on the inside here. It says, Companion to Adventure. Adventure is far less about where you go and much more about how you carry yourself and of course, what case you carry. At Globetrotter, we believe the more open you are, the more the world opens up to you, which means the more your character is shaped by places you see, the people you meet, and the opportunities you grasp. So there's a nice write-up there. I won't read it all, but there's a nice little write-up there, and then it's got information about their promise. That will kind of be their guarantee and the warranty information. And then there is also a care guide just so that you can make sure you're getting the best out of your case and keeping it in as pristine condition as you can. Inside the case here, as you can see, it kind of opens up pretty much in the middle. So each side of the case, left and right, is of equal size. First thing you can notice straight away is obviously the handles for the telescopic arm that comes out the top for your, your kind of wheeling of the case. They are on the interior of this case. Some of the ones that Globetrotter offer are external to the case, so they'll be on the outside. However, on this case, to keep it completely square and kind of quite compact, they are on the inside. So you've got the kind of spine or skeleton inside the case for that telescopic arm. You've got some anti-moisture crystals, which I'll put to one side. And then also down here, I can see we have two keys and they will be for the locks, which are, I believe, TSA approved. So if you were going through an airport and if you were having to check this bag in, if there was an issue with it and security needed to look inside your bag, they would be able to open it without causing any damage by using the keys um, that they generally have. So that's what these keys will be, as I say, TSA approved. What we'll do is we'll take them out. Again, they're kind of kept together on a nice piece of leather there, just uh, very something very simple, very basic. And on the key itself, I can see here, it says Globetrotter England on both sides of the key. So that's, that's rather nice. And they've got a nice weight to them. They make a nice jingling, jingling sound. It sounds like uh, some reindeer are coming with your Christmas presents, perhaps. But anyway, we should pop that to one side. As you can see, to contrast the outside of the case being in this ocean green, we have this rather nice, it's almost a canvas looking khaki color to the interior of the case. There are of course straps on each side so that when you're packing your case, you would layer in your shirts, your trousers, your underwear, socks, what have you, and then be able to keep it all secure with these straps which are also kind of khaki colored on the interior.
So I, again, I'm not entirely sure how these are all done, but I shall try and open this up so we can have a look. There is some tissue paper just kind of keeping it all together. But we shall take this off. It's one. And that one as well. So we've got, it's a very kind of basic strap. It's an up and over type effect. But as I open this up again, we have some chrome detailing here. And it, again, a really nice detail that on this kind of buckle of the strap, it says Globetrotter as well. That's kind of embossed in there as well. So as we try and just, as I say, I'm unfamiliar with these straps, so it might take me a second, but there we go. That's quite nice. You open that up. You can then pack your case with all your, you know, clothes, shirts, polos, trousers, shoes even, and then obviously get that all packed in rather nicely and then secured as well with the straps that will just go back across. So we'll just do that quickly. Again, this is, this is a learning experience for me because I've, I've never had a Globetrotter like this or any. In fact, this is the first. That is the interior of this case. And I love all the details. As I say, having Globetrotter on the actual buckles of the interior straps, that's really nicely done. The chromed hinges, this detailing uh, once the case is open is really nice. And it must be said as well, it's very, very neat. You have this silver kind of satin silver trim that goes around the lip of the case on this bottom side, we'll say. And then on the top side, it is a much uh, similar kind of satin finish, but it is a black trim, a black lip that goes around the top side of the case so that when you close this and, it, and the two halves kind of come together, the black lip covers the chrome lip. So that would be demonstrated if we close this now. Nice clunk to it as it closes. You can then see that it is this really nice black lip finish that goes around the circumference of the case. So once you have that, then you can close your latches, both sides. And that's it, nice and secure. If you then were to take your keys, you could also lock the case, and it's got a nice click to it when you lock. So the case is now locked. Very cool. And then you'd just do up your straps on each side. And I must say, it doesn't take you any longer Really, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm multitasking here because I'm trying to present, so to speak, to camera, as well as closing up the case and doing these straps. It doesn't take you any longer to close a case like this than really it would do if you just had one that had a zip that went all the way around. So, you know, there's no time difference at all, really. If I stand this up now, you can see it uh, maneuvers really easily on these casters. All the detailing, as I've already mentioned, is wonderful on this case. You've got the plaque with your production number on it, number 902 in my case. All the corner units, these leather protectors on the corners is lovely. I love the color, the detailing of the leather straps around the side. And again, even on the buckles on the straps here, it has Globetrotter stamped into that as well. Also, another point that I forgot to mention earlier, on the handle, if you were to carry this case in this orientation, which you can do very easily, um, the handle also has 007 Globetrotter on it. So there are some very small, subtle nods to this being a special edition 007 case, but there's nothing that immediately would jump out and say to you, it's 007 case. I know some of the Dr. No collection, depending on which one you go for, obviously, there's a particular design within that selection of cases that has the 007, the Dr. No dots, 
you know, those classic multicolored dots on the exterior of the case, which is all well and good. It can, you know, and does look like a great design. That for me is perhaps a bit too loud, which is again why I wanted to kind of go for this more traditional looking, I think you could say, case in the ocean green with the black detailing. But I am absolutely thrilled with this. It's constructed in this vulcanized fiberboard. So it gives it this strength and rigidity whilst keeping it really lightweight. And this is the same technique, the same materials, the same building method that Globetrotter have used for over a hundred years. And it's succeeded for them and that's why they carry on using the same traditional handmade craftsmanship to create all their cases. To give you an idea of the volume of this case, it's a 34 litre capacity case. The width is 40 centimetres, the height is 55 centimetres, and the depth is 21 centimetres, I believe. And yeah, that's including the handles and the straps and everything else, but it is a perfect size, ideal for your carry-on luggage. Globetrotter say this will go with most airlines in the overhead lockers, which is fantastic. So there shouldn't really be a need to have to check this in when you have to kind of hand it over to an airline at an airport and it's out of your care, you know, you know the kind of care and attention that you would give a case like this as you're traveling. Not everyone else would perhaps do that same level of care. So that's why I opted to have something of this size that I can have with me at all times. If I refer to some notes, just to give you an overview of what Globetrotter themselves say about this case, they say, inspired by the cases that feature in No Time To Die, Globetrotter has exclusively created a new four-wheel case in classic ocean green vulcanized fiberboard with black leather trim in a carry-on. Our carry-on case is the ideal companion for one, two, three nights away and being accepted by most airlines in the cabin, it'll never need to leave your side. Whether, like Bond, you are traveling to Italy, Norway, Jamaica or any other far-flung destination around the world, make sure you have your Globetrotter. So there we have it. As you can see, I really am loving this case so far. I will be traveling with it. I will be doing a long weekend away at some point. And when I do do that, I will try and film a proper full in-depth kind of real world test review of the case so that you can see how I get on with it. Is it really practical? Can you really get enough in this case to justify it for a weekend away or what have you, but do keep an eye out for that. I want to say a massive thank you to the wonderful folks at the Globetrotter flagship store down at the Burlington Arcade in London. They have been absolutely wonderful in helping with getting this case, putting an order through for me, giving me uh, the opportunity to go to the store and pick it up in person myself, and as well as the nice little touches of the luggage tags, the No Time To Die, and the black nickel luggage tag that they threw in as part of this. So I really appreciate that. I thoroughly recommend you go and check out their store if you're in central London, have a look at their website, and also go and give them a follow on Instagram. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and also the bell notifications. Whenever I post something new, you'll be notified about that. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay well, and I'll catch you all very soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.